I'm just looking at uh, some breaking news now. Uh, Reuters is reporting that Amazon says it will not build its headquarters in New York, or that second headquarters, I guess, or third headquarters, depending on how you count it, uh, after mounting opposition. This was something that was reported, what, late last week that might be uh, in question. So now, again, Amazon says it will not be building its headquarters in New York after that mounting opposition. This is according to Reuters. Um, Adam, I want to bring you into this. Oh, this has been a this really is interesting story. This is juicy, story. juicy, juicy. And take that, <laughs> AOC, mm -hmm. Alexia Ocasio-Cortez. I mean, it's mind-boggling to me that there were so many politicians who lambasted um, uh, de Blasio and, and various other uh, New York City um, politicians for putting this deal together because they said, you gave away too much. Yeah, you're missing the whole point. Fine, you gave Amazon tax breaks, but you were going to get another 45 Five billion in revenues if you go out to 2035. Well, but if you look at these accountings of where these things have hap uh, have been built in other jurisdictions, the math doesn't always work in terms of what you gain, in terms of the pressure that you put on rents in that area. I mean, that's been one of Ocasio okay. Cortez's. Okay. Oh, pity concerns. the poor people in Queens who are going to have to move Adam. out. Guess what? That's called progress. Gentrification Adam, is Adam, what moves the world. Adam, forward. Adam corporate welfare. I'm going yes. to give you some real life examples. United, the old United Airlines, yeah. built a hub in Indianapolis that cities competed for in the late 1990s. I covered it as a young reporter. Right. Didn't pay off for Indianapolis because right. United eventually never fulfilled that. W look at Foxconn in Wisconsin right now. Yes. At what point does the government say, you know what, we want you here and we'll work with you, but we're not going to give you $4 billion. $4 billion versus $35 billion. Which would That's, what they promise. That's what they promise. That's what they Did promise. Did they ever deliver that? Uh, well, you don't know unless you give it a shot. And you know what? To bring 20,000 uh, high-paying jobs into the city, that's something that you don't push away. Well, okay, at the same time, to, to come back to this gentrification argument, I mean, we live in New York City. One of the reasons I live in New York City is because it has a diverse population, not right. only ethnically, racially, gender diverse, but also socioeconomically diverse. So, yes, you have some level of gentrification that raises the living standards in the city, but at the same time, you know, if, if people who work in the city are having to commute an hour, two hours because they can't afford to live here, that's a problem. Uh, no, it's a problem for those people who are going to have to move away. For the city as a whole, bah, it's, it's a much bigger... No, it's, it's about growth. Sound like. it's, it it okay. is about growth. Actually, no. You know what I sound like? I sound like a hardworking Republican who believes in moving I'm forward. Not, I not, agree not with job creation. I agree, I agree with... We ju we're subsidizing Amazon. I agree with job creation, but this claim that it would create the billions upon billions of dollars... The proof has been that's not what gets delivered. I'm all for job creation and high paying jobs at that. And by the way, I'm in New York for the pizza. But, <laughs> but at the end of the day, you're asking taxpayers to subsidize and there's no guarantee that these companies deliver it. And the record is that they don't deliver the promises they make. Well, they, they ran the numbers and- Yes, they run them all the time. They ran the numbers and they told us three versus 35, that's 10 to one. And I think it was incredibly short-sighted of politicians to go after Amazon and say that they had somehow done a bad thing. 20,000 jobs is a good thing. And if it displaces a few people in Queens that have been living in what was a warehouse district, and I know because my dad had a warehouse there 20 years ago, all right, and had to move it because he couldn't afford to have the warehouse there anymore, that's called progress, okay? Um, if, if that's actually what this comes down to, that is incredibly short-sighted. And, and New York City just lost uh, a huge opportunity to not only have 20,000 high-paying jobs, but actually the multiplier effect of all those people living in the city, spending money, consuming, and moving it forward. I think this is a huge loss, and I'm very upset about it, but I think it, it's an important point uh, for the Dems to understand. Well, you've just endorsed Bill de Blasio, and you... Bill de Blasio, no. Uh, he was in favor of the deal. Bill de Blasio it. was in favor of the deal. As was and Governor he took, Cuomo. He, he took heat for, well, actually, did you see the Wall Street Journal editorial that said, interesting that de Blasio and Cuomo, who've been uh, at each other's necks, are suddenly now, um, you know, uh, in partnership trying to um, salvage this deal and keep Amazon here. It's a huge, huge loss for well, New York City. unfortunately, you don't have sort of the uh, negative proof. In other words, we don't, because we don't know conclusively what would have happened had they That's built right. there. We don't know if New York City is going to be disadvantaged. All we, all we know There's is no that way to prove that. All we know is that we're not getting 20,000 high paying jobs that we could have had. And that, by the way, we had yesterday and we blew it. New York City blew it. 
And it's because of political that pressure were, that came from the Democrats. How do we and that's know that they shame. were going to be high paying jobs in particular? Because Amazon told us that the average salary was going to be greater than $120,000. That's a lot of money. And you bring 20,000 people salary, times not, I mean, the average salary. But okay, 20,000 times 100 and 20,000, all right, and just think about that multiplier effect through the economy. Well, I mean, there also could have, would have been a multiplier effect from building it there and the displacement effect. And it drives it, up costs for, for everybody in the city. And I'm not disagreeing. I want to be clear about something. I don't think Julie and I are disagreeing with you about the need to create jobs and at that high paying jobs. The question that's really at the root of this is does the government, what we call corporate welfare, is this justifiable? And the track record has been, I think when you start looking back at these projects, I named two for you, Right. Um, it's that they don't deliver what's been promised. If they could deliver what's been promised, de Blasio and, and Cuomo could have said, folks, why are you screaming? Look at what we're about to get. Right. Which but actually they did. They, they screamed, they but, did. but it's not based on what we've seen in the past. It was based on this is what we're promising. And uh, I would argue that Amazon isn't like anything we've seen in the past. This is a company that is growing uh, in, in ways that we can only begin to fathom. It's mind and think of what Amazon Web Services is doing. They now control the back office for 80% of the e-commerce uh, here in the United States. That's Amazon. Oh, and by the way, those guys could have been here in New York City. What a shame. What a huge loss. It, I, I, I just, I'm really upset about this. We blew it. We can tell. Yeah, we blew it. We blew We're it. We're going to put a pin on Politicians this. Politicians really, blew it. I'm really glad that you're here, Adam. Thank you. It's good to have someone with a point of view. Thank you. And stuff.